Hey everybody, time for a Facebook Live tractor video. <clears throat> Let a few people get on here, we'll get our video started. Hey there guys. Hey Cody, hey John. Just a minute or so, I'll let it call. There we go. We've got a few people on here. We'll get started with our, our video tonight. The tractor we're gonna talk about tonight is, I'll uh, back up a little bit. The tractor won't be making so much noise. The tractor we're gonna talk about a little bit about tonight is a John Deere Lance D2816. Never mind the funny color it's painted. We'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, when John Deere bought out the Lance Company, the la uh, for only really one, um, they bought them out in 58. And in 58 and 59, they pay went from painting the tractors green with red, or blue with red wheels to green with yellow wheels. And the last year, 1960 only, these tractors were green and yellow with John Deere Lance nameplates on them also. So this tractor was originally green and yellow. And then it has this nameplate on the side that says John Deere Lance that was only used in 1960. So not many of them have this plate. This tractor they made a lot of in Europe. I think this model they made close to 10, <coughs> sorry guys, they made close to 10,000 of. Green and yellow they made one year, so somewhere around, I think 1,500. This being a 1960, it's a real late one. Uh, this tractor has a very interesting history in that it was originally shipped to France. Part of why it has the yellow headlights, a lot of the French tractors have that. And usually, the horsepower would be listed as 28. But it's 30 on this. It had something to do with tax purposes for when they sold it in France. Now, this tractor, 1999 or 2000, 20 years ago, a friend of mine from England bought it in France. And he called me up and he said, Hey, you want to buy a Lance, a John Deere Lance? And I knew nothing about it back then. So I bought it. He said, but it's painted a funny color. So we got it. And I had it for a few months and I sold it to a good friend who owned it for 20 years. And this past year, eh, maybe two years ago now, he didn't care anymore, so he sold it back to me. And uh, so here I have it and I'm gonna make it green and yellow again, I think. Uh, I don't know why it was painted this color underneath, it's all green and yellow. I don't understand why they painted it this gray and red. It did have black wheels on it, but I put a better set of wheels on it. Now here's a question I pose to any of you folks who wish to comment. I believe we're gonna have Wendell Kelch restore this when he gets our other one done. So do we go green and yellow or do we paint it maroon and gray? I'm kind of on the fence. Y'all can vote if you want. And I'm not gonna say and I'll go by what you vote for, but I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, these were, kind of the last of the Lance one cylinders. They quit making these in 60. They made them until 62 in Spain. And I'll have a video about one of them later in the summer when it gets there, I have one that's still in Spain. But these tractors, although they were one cylinder, they were just like the late two cylinder John Deere's in that they're very sophisticated, very smooth, good hydraulics, this has a eight speed transmission with creeper, so it's 16 speeds. Uh, this one I've used to rake hay. Great little tractor to drive, smooth as could be. Uses no fuel at all either. Um, and I'm lucky enough it came with the factory front end weight. So one of the days I'll get a two bottom plow on it and we'll take it to a, a plow match. Hey Melanie, how you doing? Melanie's dad's the guy who owned this thing for 20 years. She's had lots of rides on the fender of this. It's been out at Ken and Dago, New York. In fact, I'm glad you're on here, Melanie. That reminds me, 10 or 15 years ago, her dad, Joe, was out at the Ken and Dago show with us. And uh, this French guy come up and he says, where you get that tractor? Where you get that tractor? And Joe says, oh, I bought it from a friend of mine. How you get that tractor? He says, that was my tractor. I painted that tractor. So uh, how, what would be the chances that a French guy who owned this one Lance that's painted this odd, odd color, shows up at the Canandaigua show 
and says, that was my tractor. Pretty cool story. But uh, I kind of think I want it green and yellow again. I think that'll look right. But uh, we'll get on here and give you a little drive on it. A really smooth running one cylinder tractor. As I said, this is the last, last of the, oops, something happened. Uh oh, my three point carrier come off. Y'all gonna have to wait just a minute. Maybe while I'll unhook that. Must be missing a linchpin out of it. Oops, stand by, stand by. Has this ever happened to any of you when you're farming? Where everything just falls apart? It's happening to me right now. But give me just a minute and we'll get back on track. That doesn't want to come loose. Sorry, I'm trying not to make you crazy. Almost unhooked. I'll put all this back after I'm done with the video. Clifford Bard votes for green and yellow. I kind of think I do too. Hold on a moment. I don't have enough hands, folks. There we go. I got to get this darn chain off here. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Hey, Cody. How's Miss Magnolia? You got to get her for a tractor ride. Well, here we go. It's got a foot gas pedal. And a hand throttle here. Now, it starts with a glow plug, electric start, of course. We have three speeds in reverse in here, huh? Oh, Nate's here to hold the camera. That's good. We've got three speeds in reverse on this shifter. And we got high and low range on this one. I'll get, I'll get near it because you can hear it. It's all right. And when you start it, you pump this up to prime the oil, get the oil system go. Then go down. Then you go down to uh, prime the fuel system. But see if I got it idling. I gotta idle a little slower yet. Our idle's about 500 RPM. So we'll take you for a little drive here. Oh, and this here is the creeper transmission. You pull this back in and it slows it way down. So you end up having, what, three, six, 12 speeds. We'll get her in a higher gear here. Oh, I think we better put her in high range so we can make it smoke a little bit, don't you think? There. We've been making a little hay here. It's been good weather. I think it's going to be green and yellow. This will be a beauty when it's done with the chrome on the hood and everything. Because right now, Wendell Kelch is doing a D4016 for us, which is also a 1960. Actually, the last one built. And I think as a pair, they'll look great. But I hadn't started this in a month or so, so I thought y'all would like hearing it run. Very, very smooth. One of the smoothest, probably the smoothest one-cylinder tractor right here. I'll get off in a minute, do a little walk around again. Tractor has three point, regular three point. Somebody's made that draw bar, but it is kind of handy. We can rake hay with it, it's a little bit normal, more normal. Uh, 36 inch rubber. Got a good road gear too, close to 20 miles an hour. But it sits there and idles just as smooth as could be. There's supposed to be a cover over that flywheel and I, I can get them new, I have one somewhere. I'll put it on when I restore it, but. Maybe I'll open the hood and show you what's happening under there. Just a minute.
Here is how one of these is constructed. Got some front end weights. There's your crankshaft turning right there. There's your cylinder and the fuel injectors right down in there. I might have a little blow by too. There's the radiator, air cleaner, starter, fuel tank. Come around here, there's the fan. It doesn't have a water pump, it's thermo siphon, just like some of the other old tractors were. But it has a, it has a dry sump oil system right there is the oil tank. And it just recirculates back into that tank. I know the John Deere guys love these things because they're somewhat similar to a two-cylinder John Deere, but a lot different. Here we go. There's full throttle. That's 1,100 RPM. There you go, that's half throttle. That's how you'd rake hay or something like that. There we are. Got little front fenders like a lot of those European tractors do. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully, it'll be six months or more. But when it's all done and we get the pair of them next to each other all done, we'll do a little video with them. Hey, look at that. Hold on, everybody. Look at that. Rotate your phone. That was the nameplate on the three-point hitch. It's got a very simple little instrument panel there. That's all there is to it. Well, hey, everybody. That's the John Deere Lance D2816. What a tractor this little son of a gun is. It's cool. Uh... Great fun to drive. I'm gonna shut this video off and go for a little run with the tractor. Thank you everybody for watching tonight.